I am squinting into the sun at the sundial at the Olympic Park. And this is a gorgeously designed sundial. Because not only is the user the, the gnomon, the, the post for the sundial, so my shadow is reading 11 o'clock, and that's pretty much accurate, um, it also has GMT and BST, so summer months still have the correct time, and it has the equation of time built into it. Now, the equation of time, the name sounds like pseudoscientific rubbish, but it isn't. It's equation in the old-fashioned sense of to make equal. See, there are two different types of time, if you like. There is solar time, there is the time that means that noon is when the sun is highest in the sky, and then there is mean time, clock time, a kind of averaged, ideal time where noon falls reliably, about every 24 hours. And, well, there's a distinction between the two. Because, uh, look down at my feet, um, June is now, so I'm standing here. Were it March or September, I'd be standing here. And that is because the sun would be in a different position in the sky, it'd be lower, because A, the Earth is tilted because of the seasons, and B, Earth's orbit is an ellipse, not a circle. So I'd be standing here, the sun would be in a different position, but my shadow would still read 11. And if it were January or December, in the depths of winter, I'd be standing here, and my shadow would still, well, actually, the Olympic Stadium would be covering up the sun, so my shadow wouldn't be anywhere, but were there theoretically a shadow, it would still hit 11. And the interesting thing about that is that sundials have only been fitted with this in the last couple of centuries. You see, it used to be that sundials were the accurate record of time. When the sundial said it was noon, the sun was highest in the sky, and it was noon, no matter the time of year. And then along came reliable clocks, and later the railways and telecommunication, the requirement for different bits of the country to be on the same time, to have the same noon. And so it went from sundials being accurate and mechanical clocks being always a little bit out to mechanical clocks being accurate and sundials always being a little bit out. And you can find from a few centuries ago things called equation clocks. Perfectly accurate clocks, reliable, 24 hours in a day clocks more or less, that would deliberately change their time, either by a complicated clockwork mechanism or by the user changing something, so that they were accurate to the sundials and not the other way round. Because sunrise in the east could be 20 minutes, 25 minutes, ahead of sunrise in the west of Britain. So there you go, the equation of time. It's the thing that means sundials aren't accurate anymore, even though once upon a time, they always were. Something you might not have known.